What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the boy Shingy. I am so excited to bring you guys yet another video. And again, this is one of those videos, informative videos. They don't really get me a lot of views guys, to be honest. But like, again, these help you guys a lot. Like I get a lot of comments from these, um, not on the videos. I hope you guys comment on these videos, but I usually get a lot of DMs. Um, if you really wanna support me and the channel guys, I cannot stress enough, leave a comment, leave a like. It, that's the only way you you guys could help me further my career on YouTube and help me continue to make videos because I don't know like uh, I don't know I don't know it's just that YouTube is taking a lot a lot of time and I'm releasing really a lot of really good content I have a lot more videos out there than a lot of people do and I feel like I have a lot of really cool stuff that I'm bringing to the channel but it's just been really discouraging I just wanted to share that with you guys but you know it is what it is I'm just trying my best to sort of make YouTube be sort of like an outlet and just focus on the photography now because you know again it's just like I don't want to think too much of it if I feel like making a video I'll make a video but like it's just a little bit of BS in there but anyways let's get straight to the video I'm here to enjoy this I'm here to help I'm here to do to share my experience and here's one of the biggest things throughout my whole experience using a flash oh my god an analog flash guys this thing is stressed me out using an analog flash actually stressed me out a lot because I have no idea how to use this so before we actually start with the whole flash talk it's very important that you know that your camera has to be on the flash sync option you need to make sure your camera is in the flash sync area so for the Canon AE-1 there actually is a flash diagram for my conical auto reflex it is a different color so let's say the colors are white it will be orange or red so with that being said that means you could either shoot at 60th of a second or under if you shoot over 60th of a second you will get a black line or a black border across your pictures this also applies to you using strobes in studio your camera only syncs at 60th of a second um, this is not with every camera again my conical auto reflex I think it does it at 125th but you have to make sure that it's on the it's set on the flash sync option okay look at that there's a lightning bolt on mine which is at 60th of a second look at that there it is there's a lightning bolt over there and other cameras that will have a green or an or red or orange whatever it is when I used to shoot digital I never used an analog not an analog a digital flash or any flash for that matter I was never into flash I was always natural light but like I started using a flash and I this is all inspired by like a series I wanted to do for last Halloween. I found that really awesome pictures come out through the flash side. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my flash out and try to use it. So I got this flash, shout out to Shem. Shem hooked me up with this flash and this whole Canon AE setup. Um, I'm really happy with it. I went and I looked at it, I'm like, how the fuck do I shoot with this? So I had to sort of use my head and try to make sense of things. And I actually did watch a whole bunch of videos, but they didn't explain or slash dumb it down for people like me that love simple things so if you want a really um strong review or like if you're a technical person this is not the video for you don't even bother watching any of my content because i'm not gonna be doing gear reviews i don't do gear reviews i don't do like stats like this one does however many watts if you do not like it just don't watch the content like you know what i mean like i hate reading stressful comments about oh you should do this no this is my journey this is my channel this is what i want to do and this is how i want to do so let's get straight to the video. How do you understand how this goddamn thing works? Okay, so most of them are like this. I know there's other ones that have sliders. They're pretty much the same thing. So with this guy, how do you read this light meter? It's very, very simple. It's actually really simple, as simple as like, Oh, that felt so bad that I, I, I was so intimidated. But as you guys can see on here, there's a whole bunch of numbers, right? You're supposed to set your ISO, right? You set your ISO, right? Let's say your ISO 400 speed film, right? You're shooting 400 speed film, you set your ISO to 400 over there. So here's where it gets super complicated. There's a line that is yellow and a line that is green and a line that is red. At the bottom it says F, like the, the this one. That's your F stop, that's what you're supposed to be. Notice when I spin the wheel, the numbers change. Like, not the numbers change, but like the direction of where the F stop numbers 
they change, right? That means you're supposed to be at a certain f-stop when you're shooting a certain film, right? So over here we have the f-stop. I'm gonna get into the range and all that kind of stuff. So you wanna be in the green. Green is always good, right? Green is always good. That is the sweet spot for the most neutral color. You're gonna get the perfect shot, the perfect exposure. There it is. So in this case, it'll be F11. You can get away with F11 and F16. That is the green spot, check it out. So F11, F16, you're in the sweet spot. So let's say you want to overexpose your photo. You just have to look around. The red is usually overexposure around here. The red is the overexposure. So if you wanna overexpose your picture, just drop down your F stop. So if you go to F um, F5.6, that is going to be overexposed. It's gonna overexpose and blow out the highlights and all that kind of stuff. If you want to underexpose and not have a lot of flash range, a lot of flash range or not to have it perfectly in flash, let's say you wanna do a really moody picture and you don't need it to be a perfect flash and you just need it to be like a certain area, you have to go higher on your f-stop. So that will be the yellow. The yellow is the underexposed line. You can shoot an F22 or F32. That will underexpose, but there will be flash. Your shot will show. I suggest shooting in the green spot. That's what I shoot at. Um, Let's say again, for example, let's say you're a 200 speed film, right? 200 speed film. The sweet spot, which is the green, will be F8, right? That is F8. That's the sweet spot. That's where you want to shoot at. If you want to have it like a little bit underexposed, Exposed F16, F22, and F32. That is your underexposed. Still, there's flash a little bit underexposed. You shoot it around that speed. If you want to overexpose, F4 is where it is. Now, to do with the distance, okay? So the distance, the distance is actually at the bottom. I'm not gonna talk much about that. That is something subjective to you, but if you're shooting in the green and you want it to be metered, so let's say for example, you're at five meters, right? That is the sweet spot. It will cover anything but anything under five meters. The green spot will cover anything under five meters, right? So that could be one, two, three, four, five. That is the sweet spot. If somebody's a little bit further than that, you are gonna need to overexpose, right? You are gonna need to overexpose. If somebody is, let's say, for example, uh, 10 meters away, you are gonna need to push your, um, your light meter to F4. So it will blow up what is closer and it will cover a lot more distance, right? So it's very important that you're aware of how far you want to shoot. I usually shoot portraits and I usually shoot full body, so it is usually okay in the green spot, but if you wanna cover a lot more distance, let's, stay, let's say you're doing a landscape slash, like I don't know, I haven't done this before, a landscape shot, you will need to drop your aperture in order to do that if you're shooting a 200 speed film. So if you're shooting 400 speed film, um, F11 will cover again, five meters. If you wanna overexpose, you just gotta drop down your f-stop. This is all subjective, guys. And yeah, that's really what it's all about. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple of pictures that I took with the flash. Um, it is really fun. Flash photos are really cool, guys. I really love flash photos. They're really awesome, they're really dope. They're just like, they have a mood, they have a style, right? And again, guys, I'm learning with you guys. I'm not an expert, I don't know anything. I just know how to do these things. I didn't take school for photography. Again, if you're looking for, you know, the best reviews, you're not gonna get it here. I am the person that will do the most basic review to show you how to get something done. I'm not an expert, okay? So that's how I know how to use a light meter. With that being said, if you have any questions, if I did, if you are confused with something, hit me up, comment down below, and I will try to answer, and I will try to explain. I do suck at explaining things sometimes. So if you're having a little bit of a hard time, hit me up on Instagram or comment down below. I will be monitoring all this stuff because I'm really much aware that I do suck at explaining stuff sometimes. So um, comment down below. I hope this video helps to whoever actually understood what I was talking about. Other than that, it's the boy Shingy. Follow me on Instagram at shopbyshingy. Check out my portfolio at shopbyshingy.com. And also check out the brand at shopwaybetterco.com. And last but not least, uh, 
follow and hashtag at we photo gods to be featured i will check out all your pictures i do go through them but guys we need to get more followers in order for us to grow and again guys this is for you guys the more followers i get on that channel not channel the more followers the more followers i get the more i'll be frequent with the reposting so head over there go follow and be reposted and get some exposure with your photos but that's about it guys i hope you guys love this video again comment down below and let me know if you love the video but with that being said it's the boy shingy again douche